over the past year, we've sent our undercover reporters onto British farms to expose the pain, suffering and cruelty that takes place in the livestock industry. And I should warn you that the following footage contains some very distressing images. Oh, that's just disgusting. No, oh, stop it, stop it, I can't take any more. Oh God, that's just medieval. So, V is back for another year, and despite its success, I'm gonna tell you why it's the biggest lie of them all, despite what Billie Eilish says. So here goes. Before we go any further, and just to clarify, as this t-shirt says, I am a meat eater, I don't do veganuary, and probably never will, especially after researching this video. You might think that makes me slightly biased, but I am going to try and make this an honest, balanced argument. Veganuary has been around since 2014, and to its credit, has gained a very large and loyal fan base over the years. With 700,000 people having signed up to the movement, it's fair to say that it's tipped over into the mainstream and is no longer a fad. So what's it all about? The vegan movement, and in particular Veganuary, can be broken down into three parts. In their words, it's a vote for a greener planet, for better health, kindness to animals, and conveniently in a cost of living crisis is the fourth one, which is lower food bills. According to the website, Veganuary encourages and supports people and businesses alike to move to a plant-based diet as a way of protecting the environment, preventing animal suffering and improving the health of millions of people. That's a fairly noble cause, so let's take a look. Another disclaimer, I live in the UK and as this channel is predominantly about British farming, I'm going to tackle it from that angle. I'm not going to go over old ground here and you can go and watch this video up here about cattle and livestock's impact on the environment. But particularly here in the UK where we farm sustainably and regeneratively, livestock and cattle are actually beneficial to the environment. Yes, and before you start, I know there's Brazilian farmers who are chopping down the Amazon rainforest to rear cattle in the UK is a very tiny, tiny country in the grand scheme of things. But herein lies the problem. For every report that I find that says that cattle are bad for the environment, you find another one that says that they're actually beneficial. It's not black and white. The science and the research doesn't show an obvious winner. There are so many nuances within the discussions and the arguments that it is virtually impossible to say that one is better than the other. But let's hold that thought and look at the health argument. Better health. Well, what is better health? Now, I think most people would argue that leading a healthier lifestyle or longevity or having fewer health complications would all contribute to better health. And when we're talking about veganism or the foods that we consume, then we should all be seeking out foods that give us the best chance at living longer with fewer complications. And Veganuary argue that not eating animal produce and not eating meat is better for your health. Is it? Well, no. Again, because for every research study that says that eating meat or animal produce is bad, there's another one that suggests that it's good. Ah, but Sandy, I hear you say. Red meat is classified as a class 2A carcinogenic, which means that it's a probable carcinogenic. So we're all gonna die from cancer from eating red meat? No, because again, when you look at the nuances, it focuses on eating too much red or processed meat. And in the same breath, there's another article out there which states that there's not enough evidence to suggest that red meat is bad for you. And whilst all this is being debated, we're forgetting about all the health benefits that red meat and animal produce do bring, such as being a great source of protein, iron, zinc, and B vitamins. Do the benefits outweigh the risks? Well, I can't be sure. Similarly, there's two separate studies out there which suggest on one hand that veganism's good for your health and on the other hand, that veganism's bad. So which one is it? Well, like the environmental claims, it's neither. Animal pain and suffering. Hmm, how are you gonna get yourself out of this one, Sandy? Well, as you can see from the clips at the start of this video, none of the animals on British farms live a life of pain and suffering. Farmers up and down the country treat their livestock in virtually the same way as they treat their kids. At the end of the day, their livelihood depends on it, quite literally. Will there be a rogue farmer out there that mistreats these animals? Quite possibly. Much in the same way that I know a vegan who every now and again has a full English. It happens. But even in the killing process, it's done in the most humane, stress-free way possible. It's kind of like being hit by a bus. It's instantaneous with very little pain. But if you believe that animals shouldn't be killed for human benefit, then I will hold my hands up. That is your personal preference, and I won't argue with that. In the same way that I don't like, say, Donald Trump, you're not going to convince me otherwise, so let's just leave it at that. Difference in variety are what makes this world a rich and vibrant place. 
So what's your point in all this, Sandy? Well, farmers now are wrongly treated as the enemy, and as an industry, we spend a disproportionate amount of our time having to defend ourselves against nonsense like this. And it is that I take objection to. The biggest issue that I have with Veganuary and the biggest lie that they are spinning is that their way is better than the others. To state that veganism is better than the alternatives is just simply wrong. The claims about better health and better planet are not black and white. The arguments are so nuanced that it's virtually impossible to determine that one is better than the other. And here's some breaking news. If you think that by going vegan you're going to save the planet, you're not. If you think that it'll lead to improved health, it won't. If you think that by going vegan you're somehow going to stop the pain and suffering at the hands of farmers, then you're not. Because it doesn't happen in the first place. On the flip side, I can't sit here and categorically tell you that eating a meat-based or an animal-based diet is going to be better for your health than, say, going vegan. Because it's not. Is eating meat better for the planet than going vegan? Quite possibly not. So what's the answer? Well, if you really want to protect the planet, improve your health and stop animal suffering, then this further highlights the importance of eating balanced, buying local, and if you live in the UK, supporting British farmers. That is the best thing that you can do for your health and the planet, whether you're vegan or not.